This is a 1972 Camaro SS. Um, I, we don't know that it's a for sure SS car. It's got the SS badging on it. Um, it's got a rebuilt engine. It's a 350, uh, 350 uh, board over and built. It's got uh, the uh, ultralight two gauges that are all new, very expensive. Uh, really nice Grant um, steering wheel inside. Basically new upholstery, and I'll show you all that in a minute. It's got a high performance built engine. She sits at 180. It's got a built 400 automatic transmission. Transmission's got a stall in it, so I'm in a residential area right now, which is not the best place for me to do this video because uh, you can hear, of course, the transmission shifts perfectly. I mean, it's a rebuilt transmission. The engine and transmission probably have about 500 miles on them. Uh, I just don't want to, I want to be respectful in the residential area and I don't want to romp on it. I did the other day out in the, out in the, uh, just on a, another test drive in this car, power steering. Uh, and uh, I mean it just you can hold the pedal to the floor and it just runs right through the gears perfectly You can see just by moving Temp going down. I mean, it's got a great system in it Long tube headers flow master exhaust Very aggressive uh, exhaust The only thing I don't like about this car is it doesn't have the vinyl seats. It's got the cloth. Although the nice, the upside of the cloth is it doesn't burn your legs when you get in it because it is a black car. Anyways, <laughs> because this is the first black Camaro I've had. I've, I've been doing this for about four years. I've had, uh, oh gosh, probably a dozen second generation Camaros, uh, 70 through 73, and this is the first black one. I'm gaga for black cars. I just freaking love black. Uh, really nice billet everything you know a chrome aluminum stuff i mean super nice engine detail like i said now the engine was recently rebuilt so of course they you know the block's been redone it's got a uh, performer uh, intake on it it's got a very expensive carburetor on it um and let's see if i can take that off and show you I need to write this down in the ad it's got a dft slayer uh, double pumper carb. I've had that professionally tuned in, dialed in. Put this back on there. Really, really nice valve covers and air cleaner, just giving it that, you know, finished look. I'm sorry that I don't normally do this in the video, I'm taking my time doing this. Okay, whatever. We'll do that in a second. I just need to screw that nut back on. Um, everything, no expense spared kind of thing on under the hood. The car, you know, the, oh, the engine was pulled. You know, this is almost like you can kind of call it like a frame off, although these are subframe cars. But you can see that the, you know, the same paint was painted, base coat, clear coat, under the hood, fender wells, all the way down the firewall. The car was painted with the engine out of it and the transmission out of it. Very nice driver quality paint job. I'm not going to call it a show car Ugh. quality because um, it does have a couple of imperfections, although a good color sand or wet sand would probably bring that out. 
it's got a sink the single the bumpers are brand new on it but front and back but uh it's got the solid bumper on it now for the price that i'm selling it for you can either have the solid bumper which is on it now or i've got a brand new uh, split bumper kit personally i like the split bumper better and I'm, we'll swap it out it takes about an hour um i'll include that in the price of you if you call me and you say i want the car i want the split bumpers it's done no additional cost i'll keep this bumper and throw the other one in uh, brand new weld wheels, brand new super, uh, I mean, Cooper Cobra radial GT tires with offset front and back. Paint, glossy stripes, perfectly straight, base clear. Like I said, nice, nice driver quality car. That's what this is. This is a very nice driver that needs some finishing touches to make it, you know, amazing. Um, it's got a new cloth interior in it and like i said earlier i don't you know i like the look of the vinyl better but the, the nice thing about the cloth is that it does um not get hot so you know hot uh it's missing little things i want people to know about like the door lock you know it needs the the little stem um but the windows roll up great roll up and down great uh looks to be newer door panels with the matching cloth the door panels look like new. They look really good or very, very minorly used. The dash pad looks good. You can tell that the dashboard was also painted recently. You know where it's painted up top. All the dash looks really good. There is no radio. It's got a, the, the radio is deleted right now. And there is no air control functions. This is built to be kind of like a street strip car. So there's no, you know, air, con air controls in it. Like I said earlier, the ultralight dash is new, custom very nice of course all the gauges work and work perfectly the lights work great i don't believe the horn is hooked up so all the plastic inside looks really good it's got uh actually just had a new headliner put in unfortunately it looks like while they were putting it in they damaged it in two spots there's one little tear there about the size of my fingernail and one over there they almost look equidistant i wonder if the guys somehow tore it trying to get it in in that one spot so I kind of hate that, but it's because the rest of the thing looks brand new. The rear tray looks new. Carpet looks new. Super, super clean interior. Body by Fisher. Uh, look, look new or in very good shape. Door jams look great. So the interior of this car is in very, very good shape. The seat sits a little forward, the driver's seat especially. I think that they uh, picked the wrong hole when they bolted it down, and I would probably move the seat back a little bit. Um, I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'3", and I'm a little close to the steering wheel, scooted all the way back. So that's probably something that needs to be adjusted on it. All the weather stripping's new. I mean, this car uh, is probably maybe a thousand miles about 500 to a thousand miles i think i said earlier about 500 is what the previous owner told me maybe up to a thousand miles on a complete you know frame off restoration really i mean a new engine new transmission we'll take a look up underneath it this thing is so clean underneath you can see new bushings i mean look the underneath it's got some it's dirty because water spots and dust and stuff like that but everything underneath was painted and not with a spray can. I mean, the, there was it had no engine in it. It had no transmission in it. It was completely off. Disc brakes. Redone. All new brake lines. Super clean underneath. Super, super clean. I'm gonna grab the keys so I can show you in the trunk too when we get around there. Oh, the other key is in the trunk. It's super clean. Back end, like I said, new rear bumper, new chrome tips, new fuel tank, billet, rear end cover. I mean, it looks like new up underneath there. Somebody spent a ton of money restoring this car and bought everything new to go on it except for a couple of door handles and stuff basically super clean floor pans brand new brake lines fuel lines i mean this is a street strip daily driver i mean it's an aggressive you know daily driver this is a you know this is uh the car i'd buy instead of 
instead of buying a brand new Camaro Super Sport, you know? This is the one I'd wanna drive every day to work. Mirrors look great, doors open and close like they should. A couple of little spots here. Uh, the, the Somebody put a makeshift handle on that because actually the real handle goes down there. Little stuff like that, door lock like I said earlier. Um, it needs seat belts, it doesn't have seat belts in it. So you could spend a couple hundred bucks ordering some miscellaneous parts out of the catalog and you would uh, finish off this car. I've got a um, key in here for the trunk, I believe. Trunk opens like it should, rust free, detailed out with the spatter paint, super clean, zero rust. I mean, not even like, not even hints of rust. Lights work, turn signals work. Man, I love this car. You know, I get them in, I get teased all the time by the guys in the shop because I always say, this is the one I don't want to get rid of, this is the one I don't want to get rid of. So I just probably repeating myself over and over again. We walk around real quick, arrow, straight body, zero rust, zero rust, zero rust. I mean, this thing was completely and 100% restored. Nice glossy paint, very nice driver quality paint job. New chrome bezels on the lights. New chrome tips, new aluminum wheels. You have to get eagle iron on this car to find any imperfections in the paint, but you will find them. Minor itsy tiny itty bitty bits of trash, things like that. I just wanna be honest about stuff. I hate it when people lie about the condition of their vehicles. So, and I buy cars without seeing them all the time. So uh, that's why we do the walk around video and that's why I'm taking 12 minutes to show you this thing. So there you have it, 1972, second gen Camaro. It's completely ready for the road, minus seat belts if that's really important to you. Uh, it, what's important to me is a stereo, but I think you could put a few hundred bucks in it here or there, throw a stereo in it, throw some seat belts in it, fix a couple of minor, minor little things on it, and just drive the heck out of this thing. You're gonna love it, gonna enjoy it. And like I said earlier, if you made it to the end of the video, you already heard me say it. We'll put the split bumpers on it um, for you, no additional cost, if you guys want the split bumpers. Um, this one's gonna sell super fast, um, gonna price it to sell, and uh, it's gonna go bye-bye, find a new home. Gotta love it.